In the finale Amelia Clark Spillar seeks justice for her father's death, assuming the guise of Nick Fury and engaging in a showdown with Gravik. Both characters amplify their abilities, using DNA from the Avengers courtesy of Talos' harvest machine. However, the climactic battle, while significant, lacks the creative flair one might hope for. Instead it largely devolves into a straightforward hand-to-hand -hand combat sequence, hinting that budget constraints may have limited the spectacle. Indeed, our heroes possess remarkable physical attributes, drawing from the likes of Abomination, Hulk, Drax and Korg, among others. Yet, it's Bula who taps into the full range of Captain Marvel's powers, making her the most formidable hero in the MCU. While this power surge serves the plot it might feel somewhat convenient, as she simply obliterates Gravik the Skrull antagonist. Gravik on the other hand missed an opportunity to harness a more diverse set of abilities, incorporating aspects of Carol Danvers' powers Ebony Moore's telekinesis, Thor's lightning or Ant-Man's size manipulation. Instead he remains grounded lacking the true intimidation factor, resulting in a rushed finale that didn't sit well with social media. This final confrontation highlights a recurring issue that plagued the series from the start. Secret Invasion struggled to define its identity. At times it leaned into the espionage and spy thriller elements reminiscent of the Winter Soldier which, while grounded were engaging. Secret Invasion could have excelled in this mode, evolving as an improved version of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. However it often veered towards the Super Skrull storyline, when perhaps this narrative thread could have been saved for enhancing another Skrull character in Armor Wars Fantastic Four, or even when Fury returns to space in the Marvels. A swift resolution before Gravik's power-up wouldn't have undermined the show's essence. It could have demonstrated Villar's skill as a cunning mastermind keeping true to her shadowy operations akin to Talos, maintaining a lower profile on the global stage. Nevertheless Secret Invasion seemed determined to follow the movie formula with an explosive final battle, a choice that feels somewhat forced and out of place. Once more, this approach dilutes the series' subterfuge theme and grounded nature qualities that held the promise of making Secret Invasion something unique. Ultimately, the final battle compounds the show's issues, reminiscent of She-Hulk Attorney at Law and even Hawkeye. Marvel series must find a way to create impactful climaxes, without relying solely on CGI spectacles. This challenge isn't exclusive to the McHugh, but extends to DC as well. It's about striking the right balance between style and substance, a balance that Loki achieved admirably with a less spectacle-heavy confrontation between Loki and Sylvie facing He Who Remains. Regrettably Secret Invasion underscores that this balance remains elusive and disappointingly falters, with its concluding act. Hope you have liked the video thanks for watching.